guys, we are on Freedom of the Seas, headed to the Bahamas. I used to be on this boat like a decade ago. Now they've got these great little cabanas that are free. And you can sit around and people watch or watch a movie. So we don't know if you've ever been on a cruise, but basically how it works is that there's always entertainment aboard. And the entertainment is actually pretty good. It's world class or something around that that around that caliber. But the thing that's interesting, I'm gonna pan around, is there's actually ice skating on the cruise. probably been looking at some wonderful footage of fish and water and boats and eating an ocean. Where are we memes? We are actually in Nassau, Bahamas and we're coming up on our boats right now. So we were on the Freedom of the Seas. There's about three other boats that came in. So it was quite busy with visitors but you know we, we were with probably a group of maybe 40 or 50 total on an island, so it, it wasn't too bad. I thought it would be busier than it was. And you are joining us on our excellent adventure to the Bahamas. And if you perhaps were following us, you were like, okay, I heard that they were going to the Keys. Well, the Florida Keys have gotten quite a bit more expensive. So we took the same money that we were gonna to go to the Keys and actually planned a cruise to the Bahamas out of Miami. So that's where we are. We're in the Bahamas and uh, we visited uh, Nassau uh, today 
and um, you know just did some excursions just stick with the cruise that kind of thing so make sure that you check out this adventure on Mimi Randy Adventures as we go to the Bahamas into the lighthouse we are out in the Bahamas we're at a place called Paradise Island and it's absolutely beautiful here come on with us wow of course they have a mermaid here for me and what's crazy is people lived in these tiny spaces day in and day out and you can see why
So one of the things we want to talk about in this video also is kind of the misnomer that it is maybe unsafe to come down to Nassau right now. I mean, I was totally safe throughout the excursion. Of course, we stayed, you know, with the with the cruise excursion. What did, what did you think, Neve? Yeah, we talked to quite a few of the locals too that live here and on the other islands, and they said, you know, it's it's like going to any big city. I mean, it's a big misconception that you're not going to be safe and. You know, you could come here and stay for a week or two and be great. You know, you're going to have some crime. You have crime in Chicago, you have crime in Houston. So, you know, I, I really felt safe the whole time. I really had a good time. The people are super warm and welcoming and happy to see you. Yeah, at the end of the day, you want to trust but verify, right? So you may have heard reports in the news or whatever the case is, even... You know, even travel advisories, right? You want to definitely try uh, make sure that you get your information from Reddit or some of the other uh, really good, um, you know, uh, blogs and that kind of thing of people like us that are actually here doing it. Yeah. And that way you can at least balance that in your decision to come to the area. Once you first get off the cruise ship, right across the way, great tip is this wonderful uh, shopping, kind of a shopping center. It's kind of an outdoor shopping center. You have everything from imports to things that are actually made locally. Okay, so our review of the straw market here in Nassau, Bahamas, is right off the cruise ships, is me. So most it's of it is imported. If you turned it over, most of it probably says it's from China, unless it's the wood carvings, but they're just not that great. Yeah, well, yep, yep, yep. So of all the things to come to the island are right off the cruise ship, probably say skip it, unless you want a cheap souvenir yeah. type thing for the I kids. I want a magnet, I want a t-shirt, yeah. I want something, uh, you know, bag, a pipe or yeah, yeah. something. Yeah. You know, something for the kids. Cheese, but, okay. Yeah, definitely not. It is what it is something. and it's not, what it's it's not. not arts and crafts. Yeah. Conk fritters at Senior Frogs. That is what we are about to partake of, and it looks fantastic. Yep, that's about as good as it gets right there. And they pull the conch up straight out of the ocean. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. It's amazing. They pull the, the conch out. It's awesome. this, it is as good as it gets. Okay, here we go. First bite. Ready? Boom. They're hot. They're very hot. So when you get off the cruise ship, here is a pro tip. Right next to Senior Frogs, there is a fantastic bar and restaurant that is just down the way. And it has some of the most amazing views uh, of the port and also the beach. So um, we're gonna check that out next. So we promised you a little known treasure and the Lucacari, it does definitely deliver. We are here on Valentine's Day, and as you can see from the beach behind us, this is a very, very good time to come. So the weather right means it's like between 72 and 78. About 70 and 80. Yep. Between in the evening, it's like 65 to 70, and during the day, it's about 80. Yep. It's pretty nice. Now, here's a pro tip. You're definitely going to want to bring a wetsuit. And I know that you're like, wow, that's a lot and it's cumbersome to carry with you and you got to check an extra bag. Maybe it costs us $30 to check an extra bag each way. That's 60 bucks. But for 60 bucks, having wetsuits here was a game changer. Thanks for coming along on this trip. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. 
to get more great content like this as we continue our travels here on Mimi Randy Adventures.